So whenever you start baking or cooking, the most important thing you need is an awesome apron. I might not have the best editing skills to make the video clip, but my apron rules supreme. So watch out. All you need for today is just a simple food processor. It doesn't need to be fancy. One avocado. That's how strong I am. And we're just gonna blend that sucker up. Nice and creamy. And once it's nice and creamy, we're gonna add one egg. And we want it nice and creamy because we don't want any chunks. Oh my god, look at that skill! One-handed. Master chef. Bitches. not look very pretty, but it tastes amazing. Okay, we're gonna add a little bit of vanilla extract. One fourth teaspoon of salt, some spritzes, cinnamon, some baking soda. So we got arrowroot, and we got some coconut flour. Just scraping down the sides of the food processor to get all the flour that we added. And then we're gonna blend it again. Gonna scoop them out onto a cookie tray. You can add berries to the top of it, so some of those are blackberries and some of those are blueberries. While the oven is heating, preheating, 350, because I'm lazy and cook everything on 350, we're gonna stick these in the fridge to cool. Taking the cookies out of the fridge and putting them in the oven. We'll cook them for about 12 minutes. Timer just went off. Um, yep, we're missing one. I had to sample it. I'm not very good at waiting. <laughs> They're nice and soft, so if you like the soft cookies, take them out and let them cool and they will be good to go. I'm gonna leave them in there for a couple more minutes. And take these bad boys out. So they cooked at 350 for 12 minutes the first time, then three more minutes, so 15 total. However, that one that's missing tasted really good at 12 minutes. Lastly, if you want these extra crispy, just put it on boil for a couple minutes, then we'll crispy outside. It tastes really good. If you're someone who likes cookie dough, the batter was.